There it is. Hey, you just coming on? Hey, yeah. You? Uh, no. On my way home. Just needed a quick caffeine boost. Mm. It's been a long day. Tell me about it. I have so many patients, my head is spinning off my body. <laughs> Do you know if there's any interns around? I don't think so. I'm sure it's staff today. Oh, that is fantastic. There's always a volunteer program. What's the volunteer program? Your dad started it a few months ago. Uh, each doctor is matched with a volunteer. It ended up being a win-win for everyone. We get help with charts and other organizational stuff. Mm -hmm. While the intern gets to learn from a brilliant mind, such as yourself. I do have a brilliant mind, don't I? <laughs> All right, so, you know, sign me up. Let me try to think if there's anyone available. Oh, you know what? Uh, Frankie was matched up with a great volunteer. I'm sure you'd be willing to share. Oh, I would certainly hope so. I was that punk nerd's mentor. Hey, watch it. That punk nerd is my son. All right, so the volunteer thing. How, you know, I need names, I need numbers, I need the info. Uh, Colby Chandler. What am I talking about? Of course you know who she is. She's practically dead. You know dead what? I've up. been doing this for a couple of years. Uh, I'll be fine on my own. No, wow. Why should you? Listen, I think I've got Colby's number in here. You hear what I said? I'm not interested. You hear me? What's up with you? You have a problem with the volunteer program? Why would I have a problem with a volunteer program? Well, why are you biting my face I just off? said I'm not interested. That's what I said. I'm not just, that's what I said. Is it Colby? Do you have a problem with her? I have a problem with her father. Oh, sweetheart, get in line. You really don't know? Oh, I guess not. I just thought everybody in this town knew everybody's business. Well, you know, you have to remember that I was gone for a long while. So, come on, let's have it. You have a beef with uh, Adam? Something like that. Something like that. Okay, so where does Colby Chandler fit in? There was a time that Colby Chandler was Colby Martin. And I thought she was my daughter. Well, look at you. You're not going to leave till you get all up in my business. Not a chance. You know how nosy I am. All right. Dr. Brandon. Well, this is a story about Liza Colby. Well, I see that. Now, I know you have a history with her, but you want her to know. All right, all right, my bad. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Liza wanted to get pregnant, right? And I donated my... My stuff, my, my... Your stuff? Yeah. What, what are we, shy all of a sudden? No, I don't like the S word. You know, my, my, my stuff. And she agreed, under one condition, that I wouldn't be the father. How does that work? She wanted to raise, you know, she wanted to raise the child on her own. And you were okay with that? Well, you know, at that moment in time, I wasn't in the market for a child, and... But then when she became pregnant and it became a reality... It was a whole different story. Well, I found myself feeling invested. Eliza? She understood because I was the biological father. And then all of a sudden I started to feel like I wanted to be a dad. Except you weren't. Adam Chandler, the sweetheart that he is, bought the stuff bank that, you know... What? And he switched my sample, my thing with his. Oh, my God. And he is really good at keeping a secret because Colby was about a year old when I found out the truth. A year? Mm -hmm. yeah. Plenty of time for you to fall in love with her. Oh, absolutely. Like I, like I said, I was invested. Oh, Jake, I'm, I'm really sorry that you had to go through I that. Just, I was about to get ready, you know, to, for the whole idea of fatherhood, and the rug gets pulled out from under me, along with the little girl. Wow. Babe, no, no wonder you don't want to be around Colby. It must be incredibly hard for you to even see her. D does she have any idea what happened back then? No, I think being Adam Chandler's daughter is hard enough for her. I don't think she needs to deal with this as well. Yeah, but you must still feel connected somehow. One minute she was my daughter and then she wasn't. What are you going to do? I'll see you around. Jake, is there more? I guess so. Oh, hey, sweetheart. Hey, Mommy. 
How was babysitting? It was okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, mommy, um, something really weird happened. What, baby? What's wrong? Okay, there was this guy, and I saw him looking at us at BJ's, and then he was at the Lavery's apartment building, and I just saw him again on my, on my way home. Like, I think I'm being followed. By who, a man? Yeah. Well, well did, did he get too close? I mean, did he try to touch you? No, he was, he was just always there. Wait, what'd this guy look like? He was white, tall, like, greasy hair. I don't know, kind of skeevy looking. Fletcher. 